Hi, welcome back. My name is Meng. Let's review the Works Turbine 600 leaf blower. I haven't used any other leaf blower, but from the specs, reviews, and down to cost, I can honestly say that this is the best corded leaf blower in its class. Now let's get to unboxing. In the box, it's just the blower and the tube nozzle and the manual. No one ever reads the manual and that's why you're probably here. The short extension is packaged inside the bigger nozzle. I actually made the mistake of assembling it first without realizing it. But anyways, all the parts snap in one way and it'd be hard to get it wrong. Once it's all assembled, give it a smack on the nose, plug it in, and then let's get busy. Some leaves and pine needles were damp in some areas from the rain a couple nights before, but this thing handles like a champ. I've always had a rough time raking those pine needles and sometimes they're a real nuisance, but now I just turn the switch on to maximum and this thing just gets busy. And overall, I'm really impressed with the output of this blower. I had researched a lot of the blowers ranging from $40 to $150 on the market, both corded and battery operated, and this one just seems to fit the bill. I didn't find one that would output the high volume of air and speed at the same price point. Initially, it was more desirable to go with a cordless option, but considering how much real estate I had to cover, I knew I was going to need extra batteries and charges, and I knew battery life was going to be an issue. And investing into extra batteries on top of a more expensive blower just didn't make sense to me, and gas powered units just wasn't an option. Working with this, you would need an extra long extension cord. For scale, I have a half acre lot and I'm using a 100 foot extension cord which I can just barely reach towards the front of the street and just enough in the backyard to reach the back bushes. This is a 120 volt corded leaf blower. It's not battery operated, which means you have to connect it to any outlet in your home. The cord on this unit extends about a little less than a foot from the rear. It has variable speeds from high, low, and then turbo, which is the highest setting. Works claims speeds from 60 to 110 miles per hour or 300 to 600 CFM, and it weighs about six and a half pounds. When I bought this, it was about 60 to 70 dollars at that time. At the moment, Amazon is offering on sale for 52 dollars at the time of this recording. So would I recommend this? Yes, if you have the same concerns like me with the battery operating unit and driven away from additional costs for the batteries. Plus this is a cheaper alternative and I gotta say this thing packs a punch and it's hard to beat for its price point. The biggest drawback for me on this blower is nothing else other than it being a corded unit. And dragging the cord around is a little bit of a nuisance, but you have to compromise between cost versus convenience. And at the end of the day, I do love the performance and output of this blower. This is just my opinion from my own experience and if the battery operating units or the gas operating units suits you or if you have extra batteries for the brands that you've already invested in, I'd say go for it. You should definitely try and research what will work best for you. And on that note, make sure to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I do have more content coming in the future so stick around. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!